Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar City Gaming. Today we are gonna get that Tales of Trivia tournament report that is the July tournament. Now, uh, Bolt wanted to be here, is just some stuff with work got uh, situated and he was not able to be here. So unfortunately, I have to do it. It's okay though, it's not that bad. So we can, we're just gonna go uh, over a couple of games. Um, we don't have the last place game, unfortunately, but that doesn't mean that we can't go over some of the other ones. Um, I know Bolt might actually give us the last game in the next uh, tournament next month, which by the way, the next tournament um, this month is going to be on the 21st. August 21st is the next tournament. So make sure you guys write that down, um, August 21st, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, just like it was before, and it is 25k to enter, and if you guys have mats, we're going to update the uh, mat list on that as well, and we're going to give you more of an FAQ on that tournament coming up soon, probably this week. So let's let's just get into it. Um, we, uh, we had... Uh, a couple of people submit their stuff, and here we go. So over here is Mac Daddy Steve versus Boss. So Boss and Mac Daddy Steve. This is their little play over here. So Mac Daddy starts. He got the four gold. He is going to get that treasury. That's going to be a pretty good one. That's a pretty good start. So Boss over here, they got the Grand Hulalu, the Reach, the St. Palin, and then the Crow deck. So they got the red, purple, the black, and then the yellow deck. I don't know if I would have moved that um, there. I probably would not have done that. But um, I think in this one, yeah, if, if, if Mac Daddy didn't take that, then um, definitely do that. Now, here's an interesting play. What I would probably do is I would probably take this this one right there. And then uh, Treasury, just like Boss did. So good job, Boss, doing that. And then Steve has seven. So he's probably going to pick up that Rally. That Rally is so OP. It's going to get nerfed next patch. Um, here's an interesting point, though. I think you take that. Yeah, and I think I think you just pass a turn. Gain that power. Um, I probably wouldn't have done that. Because at the most you would have gotten is a two. Um, yeah, it could be fine to try to get that. It's a risky play, but I probably would have taken the four power here. Uh, two, four, six. So she has seven. Um, in this one, I would definitely take that five. Um, I know that plunder seems pretty nice. Um, but I would if if I was her, I would have taken that five. Leave that plunder there for Mag Daddy to have. Um. I mean, boss is a really nice start here with the red uh, synergies. So, and Mac Daddy Steve is thinking about it, thinking about what he's gonna do. Oh, so he's just gonna take the treasury. Is he gonna get the rag picker? No. Okay, so he's he's trying to get. Okay, I see what's going on here. I mean, I still like the 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 crow right here. That's a definitely a good pick. She's already going the crow route. Here, I would probably not do this. I would probably want to, like, get another card, even if it's something different. But I would probably not do that. Mac Daddy 5. So he's he's going to use that. Ooh, Rally. There you go. 6. And he's going to take that crow card. I don't know. At this point, since you, I have a Rally, uh, if I'm Mac Daddy, if I have a Rally, I'd probably want to get like as many um cards out of my deck as possible yeah definitely take i definitely understand she's going back and forth seeing which card is better uh but if you're committed to the crow deck like she kind of is you just take the crow at this point i pro if i was mac daddy you probably would have started to go the black route a little bit I would have done a lot sooner here, but I mean, it is what it is. Definitely drawing those cards, draw a card again. 
Now, this is where, do I, ha does she have enough? No, she doesn't have enough. Um, I mean, she could take the four, the total silver, might as well. And definitely take that, the archer's volley. Uh, here, uh, I don't know if I would have done that. No, I would not have done that. I would have killed that, um, that thing as well over there because that's an extra two i would not have done that that early um i know she's trying to catch up but mm, that's a little bit rough there that's a little bit rough i would not have done that you can actually catch up pretty well with a crow deck um later on in the game especially if your opponent isn't doing the crow stuff themselves so at this point, I think I'd take the, the harvest season, try to get something else. Definitely hit that. Uh, I don't know if I would have done that either. Um, hmm. I would do the rag picker here for sure. I would have done the rag picker. But, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It's, it is what it is. Luxury exports really good card. Uh, she has to she has to figure out a way to get that um, that Vankari guy out of their uh, you know Mag Daddy's hands. So this is where that six casting cost card would have been really really good good for her. Um, I think I'd pick Midnight right here for sure, and then uh, I don't know if I would have done that. I don't know if I would have done that. This is a tough choice for, for Mac Daddy here because I think he takes... Oh, wow. He won a different route. I would have probably taken that five contract card, the f black five contract card that gives you a power, and then you take two. I mean, you have a rally in your deck. Use it. Use it. That card is super powerful and it's really, really good. Like the black and red deck are really good together. So Mac Daddy over here giving Boss a chance to get that Midnight Raid, which is good. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be as good right now. Um, I would not start killing those. See, at this point, I would just start using the uh, the Reach guy to draw more cards and try to get... I mean, I know she's trying to get into position here. To, to gain but all Steve needs is a rally and you know the you have the extra turn out there so he I mean I would take that right there for sure oh look luxury exports um at this point if you have if he hasn't done anything in the in the patrons I just sack something I guess Oh, he didn't sack anything. I, I couldn't remember if he actually did anything in the patron. Here, um, I don't know if I would do that. Um, yeah, you could sack that. And then sack that, I guess. I don't know. That's, you're giving him a lot of options here to, uh, to go. You're giving him a lot of options here. Uh, especially with that Vankari sentry. He can turn the crow around and then hit you at 40. Uh, especially now, for sure. This is a really close game, though. It shouldn't have been this close. I think Boss had the op upper hand. Had she not started sacking cards earlier, she should have just trusted the, the crow deck a little bit better. She was actually doing extremely well. And you had a lot of black cards to to help you. Um, so I sh you should have just trusted the system here. Definitely pick up that scratch. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could do that. No, no, no. What are you doing? You got to pick up the scratch. Why wouldn't you pick up the scratch? Oh, no. Or even that, uh, the, the three casting cost, the horn. 
Or the rag picker. Like, it doesn't matter. Something. Did she just not want... I don't I don't think she wanted maybe she didn't want Steve to to have an out. She does have two midnight raids in her hand. That's very strong. She knows she's going to use it. But Steve is actually doing a really good job of of preserving himself. That's really good. Okay. So midnight raids coming in. You sack that three. Okay, there you go, girl. Okay, so we're neck and neck. Very, very close game. This is what I was talking about. This is a very weak hand here. So she needs to just hope that Steve doesn't make a big play here. Which, I mean, he could. He still has not turned the crow, which is very, very nice of him to do. Very, very um, disciplined. Yeah. Oh, no. That five is going to cost. And look, she does have a midnight raid, but... Oof. That's rough right here. At this point, I think I'd go for it and try to get the other midnight raid and hit the, the black. Because you're not going to get there anyway, so why not YOLO? Yeah, I think you take you take the reach. I don't think you do that. No. I think you should have taken the reach. She should have taken that scratch card a long time ago. Yeah, she was it's so close of a game. So close of a game. I mean, think about it. Oof. That scratch would have done so well. Oh. But Right now, the top four people to watch, uh, definitely Plutonium Boom, since she's the winner. She grabbed that. She beat Bolt in the finals. Uh, it's Plutonium Boom, MFQ Bolt, Mac Daddy Steve, and Rocksterity. So Bolt, Mac Daddy Steve, Rocksterity, those are the people to beat in this next tournament. Um, I would not be surprised if one of those three peeps gets the seat in August. There's also a lot of people to, to watch. Um, there's, there's some people like MFQ Edge. She is the person to watch this coming tournament. Um, even though she didn't do, she didn't get into the top four because, um, top three are, uh, split the third place, uh, and fourth place are tied. So they're split. And, um, I mean, the, it's a lot of people to watch. Also remember like, Making to the top four is actually very good because those three seats are going to be as good. So the next, the next um, one is going to be between edge and scoring. So edge and scoring. We have the Raijin deck, the Sigic deck maybe. Scoring is trying to figure out which is the best place to go with the Raijin deck. She chooses Duke of Crows. Edge is going with the green deck, and we cannot use the sorcerer deck. That is one deck we did ban. So we got the Grandmaster Hulalu, Rajin, the green deck, and the crow deck. Oh, this is a very nice turn here. This is a very nice turn. You have a chance to get the crow deck started pretty well here. If, if this is Edge, I hope she took that Toll of Flesh. Or even the Scratch. The Scratch is good, too. And this is really good here, too, because Scoring can counteract here and say, hey, I'm going to take one of those two, if not both. So she could take the Scratch and the Luxury Exports here. That's what I would do. Um, I know that six card is tempting, no, I would have taken, no, I would have taken the Luxury Exports over the Scratch. It's okay, though. Like, she might be playing a different game here, but I definitely would have taken the Luxury Exports. Um, Edge coming in and saying, oh, you didn't take that, I'm going to take that. That is a card that you take no matter what deck you're playing. It's a really good card. 
Sleight of hand is really good as well. Um, yeah, I think you sack here. You sack one of the gold for treasury. And I don't know if you do that, though. I mean, you could gain two power, I guess. But if you're going to do that, then you should have gained two power to flip that green guy over to you, in my opinion. But that's just what I would do. Edge over here getting some green cards in her hand. There you go. This is a chance that I would take the plunder here. I definitely would take the plunder. You either take the plunder here, take the slot of hand, and, and get treasury cards. Or, you know, do something. Oh, bewilderment card. Oh, this is nice. Tola Silver is on the board. And guess what? Edge can't get it. The good part is that scoring can get it. I would definitely take that. Take that bewilderment card. Take that total flesh and then pass the turn. That's a good, good, good hand. There we go. Edge with six. She's taking some green cards and then adding treasury cards to her, her deck. Hell yeah. A lot of big... They're trying to get to that 10, I guess. This is a good play here. If she does that, if she does the imprisonment and then goes that route, she could go the Rajin deck, but I don't think that is a good idea right now. I think this is where you sack and then take the imprisonment. No, you don't take that. Take the imprisonment. No. No, don't look at that. Take the imprisonment. Yep, there you go. And then you just have an, um, there. There's a currency exchange on the board. Uh-oh. And I think it's going, yep, it's going to edge. That is a card, another card that if you, if you have that card out there, you should just get it. It's super good. By itself, is super good. And God forbid somebody, like, you know, another one flips on the board. It's nice. Plus, she has luck. Edge does have luxury export or luxury goods. So that works really well with that. This is the chance to flip that. There you go. I would get that 10 for sure. I would definitely get that 10. I would not get that because at this point, yeah, you get that 10. Now, this is the, you know, the other thing. Like, depending on how things go, like, she's already at 8. She could get a commanding lead here. Right here, she could get a commanding lead if she sacks that 10. Yeah, she's thinking, she might be thinking about it here. She might be thinking about it. So Edge over here with the red deck. And that's another thing. I mean, not the red deck, the green deck. That's another thing she has to figure out. Like, there is a lot of potential in that deck to gain a lot of power pretty quickly. Um, I would acquire the battle medallion here. I mean, that's good too, but I probably would have done the battle medallion just because I can always get that six card cost later. And I don't think Edge is wanting that. Ooh, house marketplace. That's really good. And she has enough to get it. Oh, is she going to get it? I would remove that for sure. Oh, please tell me she's going to get that. This will be a very, very good chance. No, don't get that. The house market. Oh, no. You're giving Edge the luck. At this point, I would take that, that uh, custom seizure to... Oh, she's trying to play the bewilderment game too. To be honest, you just can't. I don't think that was a good idea. Actually, she could do that here. She could do that and then sack the 10. That's not a bad idea. That's what I would do. That's not a bad choice. Um... I would just leave that tavern card, the one that uh, gets stuff out. I would have taken the house marketplace. That probably would have been my first ideal 
thing here. But, oh, look, that nine green card is super good, too. That is a super good thing to, to have. Hmm. Scoring has so many options here. Yeah, I think... I think you take that slide of hand, too. I think that slide of hand is better. Oh, she might be trying to get a patron win. That's... I wonder if Edge... Yeah, I think Edge has figured that out. That pounce and, and profit is really freaking good, too. So I would probably take that for sure. You could take that pounce and profit and the sleight of hand. It's super good because it knocks out your opponents. And with this patron list, I think that's what I would have taken. Even though, like, I mean, against you four gold, I mean, it's not that bad of a card just by itself. That six agent card is really good. The green one. Edge getting some very, very nice gold coin over here. She needs to pick it up, though. She's a little bit behind. Scoring has grabbed a very good lead here. And she could keep going, to be honest. I would, I would pick power here, to be honest. I would. You don't really need to pick... Um, Anything else. You should play that Tola Silver first. There you go. And there you go. Um, I think I would take the Imprisonment. Try to, like, gain a lead. I mean, the Housing Marketplace is good, too. You could do both. Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, you can do both. I mean, you could sack, yeah. That's a sack. Um, I would definitely take... Oh, okay. Ooh, Quagma Egg Mine is really good here. Hmm. I don't know. I would have done it a little bit differently. Now, the good part is that Edge still has time to catch up here. But she needs to pick it up because scoring is kind of getting away. And the crow is turned too. All she needs to do is turn the crow. Turn the crow. Force Edge to, to get to get that lead here. I mean, Edge has to have a really good toll here to, to get a surprising lead. I don't think it's possible. I mean, unless she has the currency exchange. Ooh, that's a good one. But I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't think it's going to be enough. It'll put her to 31. But I don't think it's going to be enough. That's unfortunate. I think Edge made a lot of better plays. But scoring did get ahead pretty far pretty quick. Like, that's... That's one of the things that she did do very well. I applaud her for that. That's that's actually very, very cool. She did get away with it and um, got really well. So a couple of things before we go back um, and finish this. Remember, the next tournament is August 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, we will have...
a video coming out with that tournament report um, and just what's going on. Again, the top four, Pluto, who has the seat for the Christmas tournament already, so you don't have to necessarily win against her um, to gain a spot. We have Bolt, Magdaddy, Steve, and Rocksteady are tied for third place. Of course, the August winner is Plutonium Boom. So you're going to see her in the Christmas tournament. And then shout out to our Discord boosters, Boss Styles, Cougar is Bay, Scoring Music 09, X Reading X, and Merc 271. Make sure you guys get and check our Patreon out. Um, we have a lot of cool things in there with our podcast team. So that, that's a pretty cool thing. Again, the housing contest um, is going to be extended till August 10th. So that's next Wednesday. We're going to extend it. That way it gives a little bit more of a chance for people to get into the housing contest. It's the Rosie Lion. So remember that there is a video about it. We're extending it because a couple of people had some work issues and uh, they really wanted to participate. It's just they were not able to do so. So we're extending it for them. And then our teams currently we have a Cougar City Chill team. Tuesday through Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Turbo Team, Friday, 7 p.m. And then the Monday Night Madness at 7 p.m. We also have a PvP group getting set up right now with Scoring Music 09. She is leading that. She is doing Crown for us at Cougar City in the blue side. Um, they're in Blackreach for the White Strikes event this week. So make sure you get in our Discord and hit her up if you would like to PvP with us. And join our banners in the fights in Cyrodiil. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to get up-to-date content with what we are doing. Holla holla!